people smile when you walk into the room or when you leave the room. <laughs> and they're created by closed communication systems. People do not feel free to talk to the relevant people, so what do they do? They talk to each other. Or if I do talk to the relevant people, I don't get a good response. And if I don't get a good response, I don't do it again. Behaviors need to be rewarded if they want to be repeated. We know that. Well, there's many, many positive impacts. People with high self-esteem usually live longer, more productive, more energy, are healthier, and usually better company. Fingers up in the air. When I say point, you will point to somebody in your group. The person with those finger points is going to start. Point now. <laughs> Where is the information you need? It's in your people. You've got to get talking to them, flush out their criteria. <laughs> and the Reds, well, they'll start without you. <laughs> hey, Margaret, what runs for you when I do that? And quick as a flash, and when people answer quickly, you know, there's a bit of a feeling there. <laughs> quick as a flash, she says, I don't understand why you don't help me when I help you. <laughs> Change we see around us. There we have a red handkerchief. Instead of having a red handkerchief, we now have a yellow handkerchief. Now, the psychologists tell us to bring about effective behavior change. What you need is a very clear description of your preferred behavior and of your current behavior. Now, if you want to get rid of the current behaviors, and to replace them with your preferred behavior. But of course, we live in the real world where they're going to mix the old behaviors with the new behaviors. And by getting rid of those old behaviors and replacing them with those new behaviors, what you really need is not a good speaker, but a good magician. <laughs> See, a lot of leaders go through life wanting people out there to feel good about them. Great leaders, great people. Go to life wanting people out there to feel good about themselves. Leadership in that sense is far too important to be left in the hands of people in authority. A 20 pound note here. Who would like this 20 pound note? Nobody? You'd like it, sir. Great. Do you want it now that I've crumpled it up? Really? Good Lord. Do you want it now that I've trodden it into the ground? Seriously? Why does that gentleman still want that 20 pounds even though I've crumped it up and trodden it into the ground? <laughs> Listen, I do all the funnies around here. Yeah. <laughs> gentleman wants it because it still is worth 20 pounds. Life is going to crumple you up, trod on you, do all sorts of horrible things to you. Never, ever doubt your self-worth. This is your moment in history. How will you be remembered? I doubt if any one of us will be remembered for our acquisitions. I suspect it's something to do with our contributions. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake in the morning to find it was only vanity. But those who dream by day are remembered men, for they dream with open eyes and make them a reality. Are you a dreamer of the day or a dreamer of the night? It's been a real joy talking to you. You've been a great audience. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you.